Life Fixers. Hope you're having an awesome day. Question for you. How many times have you baked something and afterwards realized you either put in too much of something or left out something? Maybe even more than once? Yeah. Actually happened to me last week. I was in an office where I do first thing and helping people rewrite their brains. And there was one of the people there who comes in to the session and she's like, oh, and she's like, I just drank coffee that was full of salt. Why? Because she put in some salt instead of some sugar into her, her, her coffee, just simply without checking the label, without double checking, assuming she assumed it was, but she didn't check for errors. Okay. This is something that happens all the time. It happens with sending emails to the wrong person, dialing the wrong number, um, and cooking, giving instructions to the wrong plate. All these things. We do things. We think we're doing it. We're doing it quick, but we don't even check for errors. Now, why am I bringing this after the previous episode with Carrie? Carrie is speaking about her whole story with math. And I shared how I would check my own math afterwards because I was good at math. Now, actually the only time I st- started doing this in the beginning. I, let me backtrack a little bit. I was always good at math. I always thought of myself as good as math, even though I was really bad at other subjects and had a really fixed mindset about other things, but math, I had a growth mindset about, and still a lot of times I would get make mistakes because of these little stupid errors that I did. Okay. And I just like would by mistake do a small thing that doesn't make, that makes a massive difference and makes you lose points for it. Right. And as I went to rewire my brain as a kid and I went to get sessions, we learned about this concept, this strategy of checking for errors. And ever since then, I decided, you know what? I am going to do that. I am not handing in a math test until I actually redo the whole entire thing and check for errors. Now, obviously not in every situation you could and depends on your time and depends on everything else that is happening. But I would actually recheck the whole entire thing, still finish early, still have enough time and my scores went up a lot because of it. So checking for errors could happen in any aspect. Obviously in tests, you want to recheck tests, but it could be in who you're sending the text text to. I'm sure you send the text to the wrong person. I had that multiple times. I'm calling the wrong person, giving directions about something. This is just takes an extra second to just reread what you wrote, especially when it's something important, then you just double check it. Just get into the habit of it and it happens quickly. That's why we want to rewire your brain. You don't want your brain to have to think about it. You just write your email and recheck, okay, who am I sending this to? What does it say here? Things like that, okay? So first of all, just to clarify, this is not a cognitive function. This is a strategy. Cognitive function are the things that make up thinking and strategies are the things that help us improve our cognitive functions. Now, what you are going to do to help yourself rewire your brain for checking for hours and improve those cognitive functions is decide today at some point before you do something, it could be something literally small, like before you send the text, it could be bigger when you're baking and you reread all the instructions. It could be even more. It's like, let's say you're trying to build something and you're not sure how to do it. So you're following through all that. Just take an extra couple seconds to redo it in your mind and make sure there are no errors there. You might just save yourself from something really major. So get yourself in that habit. Try it today once, try it tomorrow, and just you know, find places of where, where you find yourself making errors and just constantly do it so you make those errors less, okay? If you would like to work with me personally and have that sort of experience that I had as a kid and also rewire the brain in all aspects of your life, go to lifepixuniversity.com forward slash your brain rewired to get yourself on the wait list for the next Your Brain Rewired sessions. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast, but I have a huge favor to ask of you that will not only support the show, but will also help the people you love most. We are striving for 1 million downloads by the end of 2025, and we can't do this without your help. If you love this episode, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can rewire their brains to have an extraordinary marriage. It was awesome spending time with you, and I'll see you on the next episode.